Hi guys, my name is John Melisandra and today I will be demonstrating on how to paint um, a couple of koi pieces. But before that, I am going to introduce to you my materials. This is my paint palette. So I have here the titanium white, the tallow blue, the brilliant red, the medium yellow, and the lamp black. So you observe guys that I am always using um, um, limited colors on my palette because I want you to learn how to mix and get the desired colors you want okay and also guys uh, mixing is also um, an advantage in learning on how to paint okay and these are my my brushes I have here the two inches flat brush one inch flat brush um, number seven flat brush number four flat brush and number one liner brush liner brush or round brush for the details guys okay and water guys to thin the paint this is my canvas case it's it's um thin by 12 inches um it has three cuts of prime gesso i made it myself okay and i need chalk guys to uh, for the sketching so I'm planning to add first the background, the the rocks, and other things like um, um, the bluish rocks or whatever comes into my mind. Okay, so I'm gonna do the background color first on our um, on our pan. Okay, so first we need to wet the two inches flat brush. Because I'm gonna use the two inches flat brush, guys, first. Okay. And I'm gonna use the blue, the green, and the black. Then white. So it's like something like a um, bluish, bluish um, green, guys. Blue green in color. So just apply it directly here. I'll just play the colors, guys. I will be um, I'll be um, I'm playing the color uh, the 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 deep of the deepness of the pan, guys. So I think I'm going to put here a little bluish. This part will be a little shallow. Okay. So. I'll just apply it here everything the colors but I'm gonna do the background color first so I'll be using black so so just follow everything I am doing guys if you wanna paint with me Okay, a little red to make it darker and blue, more blue. Yellow. I'm gonna add more blue colors, guys, because okay, so here. Sorry, guys, I'm gonna put lighter color, so I'm gonna use a lighter um, bluish green, okay. And also brown, guys. And I use the red and the yellow. So if if the water is clean, guys, you can observe the the real colors of the objects, like the stones, the rocks, the soil, whatever. Uh, you see on the water 
uh, below the water so again the brown color but if the water um, becomes deeper guys it will become bluish so you should always remember that okay just have to play the colors guys So I'm gonna mix now for a lighter brown here in this part. So just dip the tip of your brush guys into water if it feels hard. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna add more coats here. I'll just add a little um, black. So here, make it um, darker bluish. I think guys I'm going to let it dry first for the for at least five minutes then I'm gonna put the rocks or the stones or whatever in, uh, under the water so I just let it dry first because it's very wet guys I cannot add details on this um in this um um to call this uh, uh paint I cannot add uh, coats and since my paint is um um just um shooting quality so it's hard to add another um coatings okay okay guys so i think the paint is already dry now so i'm gonna start adding the the rocks or anything under the or on the bottom of the pan okay or on the bottom of the water so okay so just follow everything what i'm i will do guys if you wanna paint with me okay so i'm gonna use a smaller brush and i'm gonna use the number one or um one inch flat brush so before that guys you should um, dip the tip of your brush into the water to make it a little wet okay here it is okay and I'm, I'm going to start here so i'm gonna do first the uh, the rocks so i'm gonna mixing for the, i'm gonna mix for the brown so yellow red and white with a little amount of black it's a little gray yes guys so whatever colors comes to my mind into your mind so that's fine so here so this will be the rocks guys yeah so this part will be uh, sh shallow and this part will be deep okay 
Okay. Again, I'm going to mix for brown, red, yellow, and black. Okay. This part guys will be a, um, the color will become greens so I'm gonna add blue guys to the color a little amount of white this should be green so we're gonna add yellow and red and yeah you can also add a little green here guys So I'm gonna add darker colors here. Yeah. Here also. I'm gonna add a little yellowish here. Okay, that's it. And now I'm gonna add um, darker colors like blue darker blue green so darker blue green guys with a little amount of white so I'm gonna start blending guys to form the rocks so just just add the dark colors between the between the rocks okay. start adding another dark color green here red green uh, darker color So you just have to blend the edges guys of the rocks. I'm gonna add green here. So the green guys will be the the green algae. Or the seaweeds. Okay, so just plain the the color between the or the gaps between the rocks, the edges, the edge of the rocks. Yeah, I think it's a, it's like a deep rock now. Okay, so I think it's just very easy, guys. I know you can do it also. You just have to believe in yourself. Be here also. I'm gonna add darker bluish color here. So I'll just blend the colors guys to make it uh, smooth.
to just follow everything I, uh, I'm doing here if you want to play it with me so this part I'm gonna add a little uh, tip yeah mm, here a little green so just a little amount of green guys so I'll just glaze it Okay, how about that? Yeah. So here guys I'm gonna add a little brown. So I'm gonna use the red of course and yellow and white. With a little amount of black. With white. No, that's very uh, not cute brown. I'll add yellow to make it um more orange okay okay here also So just blend the colors guys, blend it more, and I'm gonna add lighter colors, so I'm gonna add white guys to the color, so here just add some shade, lighter shades. So I'll be assuming by the guys that my light is coming from the left. So I'll add more highlights to the left. So that means uh, I'm gonna add more lighter colors to the left. Okay. On our rocks. Okay. Here also lighter colors. Yeah, so we have now lots of rocks here. Yeah. And I'm gonna use a smaller brush guys to create some shadows on our rocks. So I'm gonna use number 7 flat brush and I'm gonna use the um, blue, the little amount of yellow, more blue and yellow with white. So here, let's add more shades. Yeah. Okay, so. Okay. So some rocks here. And also here. Okay. 
And of course, don't forget this part. You just glazing guys and blend the colors like what I'm doing so just follow everything um, what I what I did or what I'm doing here okay no yeah. hmm. it looks uh, natural I guess touch here yeah I'm going to add more touch guys so I'm gonna use the brown again with a little yellow so the same colors guys the 16 colors that I, I had I had mixed and yeah, I'm gonna add more it has You can also add different colors of your the stones guys. Okay. So I think I'm gonna make that later. Gonna, cause I'm going to add the koi here, the two fish, the two fishes here. So some areas will be uh, covered. So I think I'm gonna do the detailing later after I'm, I, I did the koi. Okay, guys. So I think I'm gonna let it dry first for again at least five minutes. Then I'm gonna go back adding the koi. First, I'm gonna do the sketching. Then I'm gonna do the koi. Okay. So let it dry first. Okay guys, so I think the paint is already dry now and I'm gonna start the sketching. So I'm gonna sketch first the, the koi. Okay, so I'm gonna use the blue, um, the blue chalk guys. Okay, so I think I'm gonna add one koi here. One here, and also um, a lotus um, leaf. Okay, now I'm gonna start with my simple sketch. So I'm just planning, guys. I need to plan where I'm gonna put the koi. Okay, wait. Okay. This will be the, the other guy. Okay. So I'm gonna make it a little curve, guys. This body. Okay. And we'll be I'm going to add the uh, um 
this will be the um, lotus leaf guys okay so another koi here So I'm gonna make it a little curve. Okay, how about that? Yeah. I think I'm going to uh, change the the lotus leaf here. I'm gonna make it a little smaller. Okay, what that? Some cracks on the leaf. Mm, what else I'm gonna put? Uh, yeah, I think I am okay with this one. Okay. And of course, don't forget the. I don't know what to call this, guys, in English. Uh... Okay. Here, the small one. Okay, that's it. I don't know, maybe I'm gonna make this a little smaller because it, it, it's covering a whole area, guys. A bigger area. Yeah, and I'm gonna erase first the um, some of the lines of the chalk. So just wet the brush guys, I oh, know the, the chalk, oh no the, the cotton, I'm sorry. Just have to wet the cotton then it's, it's easy to erase. But careful guys when the paint is still wet so you can uh, um, Then I ruin some areas. Okay. Okay, that's it. So I'm gonna start now. Um, adding the, um, painting the koi. Okay. So I think I'm going to make this koi white, then red, and this one will be white, red, and black. So that will be the colors of my koi. So I'm gonna use um. The number seven flat brush guys then I'm gonna use the white here with a little amount of black and blue and yeah red with a little amount of yellow so it's a little more it's it look like green guys yeah this is the color it's a uh, gray yes so actually you can just use gray guys directly ok 
Okay. So just follow everything and I did guys in the video or what everything or what I'm doing. Okay. That's it. So So I'm gonna mix again for another um um grayish color. So the same color guys with with a little amount of yellow. So and the other koi guys um just painted with the same color. Okay, so again I'm gonna mix for another color, another gray color, so the same color guys, the blue, the yellow, the red, the black, so you just have to play that color. Little black. I'm gonna make it darker. With yellow and white. It's all about the blue. Yeah, this is color. This one has a bigger tail. Okay. Yeah, we'll just retouch it later. And also this one guys, I'm gonna uh, paint it with green. So I'm gonna use the yellow and red. Oh, yellow and blue. Okay. 
Okay, and white case. Good yellow. Yeah, it's so brown, so I'm gonna add a little, a little amount of green later. So this will be the lotus flower guys. Oh that that not the lotus flower but um the lotus leaf. Then add a little bluish, no, not bluish but green. Yeah. About that, then I'm gonna add white guys to make it lighter. And adding some uh, little details like in this um, center. Okay, I'm gonna add a little glow. Yeah. And here also. Okay, we just have to blend the colors, guys. Yeah, and I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna make this part darker. So I'll just use the pure green base. And here also. And I'm gonna use yellow guys and white. Mix some light colors here at the edge. details yeah. so later I'm gonna add more details on that I think I'm gonna add again the white Add some shiny effect. Yeah, yeah, that's it. And now I'm gonna I'm gonna add details on the koi guys. So first I'm gonna make this one lighter, and I'm gonna use a smaller brush, the number four flat brush. 
so I think I'm gonna use directly the white I like white so here So since the lights guys is coming from the left so we just need more light colors from the left. And I'm gonna add a little amount of a little details on the mouth. So do not wet your brush guys. Make it make it um dry to make it um to to make it uh to blend it uh uh, good Okay, and also here Okay So I'm gonna add a little uh, This will be the thing add up I don't know what to call these guys on the back of the fish. I don't know the the, the English of that. So I, I'll just add it up like that. Okay. Yeah. And now also the other color guys. So just add white here. I think I'm gonna add a little amount of um, yellow guys and blue to make it a little um, blue green so just make this part lighter And also here, just a little amount. So just blend, guys. Like um, it's just a dry brush technique. So do not wet your brush, remember that. Okay. Okay, I think I'm gonna make this uh, lighter here. Okay. So I'm gonna add uh, some part of the back guys here. I didn't know what to call this guy. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna make it um, lighter more white guys just add more white okay then I'm gonna make this part darker to add shades so I'm gonna use the blue and the black and white yeah Oh, 
darker no lighter Yeah, I think that will do. Yeah, I think I'm gonna make it. I'm uh, gonna move that a little here. So just use the white guys. Yeah. And I'm gonna add a little details using this gray color. So the same, the same color, guys. Gray. To to add some um, details on the head. And the problem is I didn't know this part. I didn't know what to call this part in English. Yeah, and also here the other one. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, okay, how about that? I think we're gonna add more white here to emphasize. Yeah, and also here. Yeah, I'm gonna add more emphasis here, guys, on the tail. I really like that. Okay, so I think this um this is just too long, so uh, I think I'm gonna cut a little here. Late, maybe later, guys. After I'm done with the um details, okay. So now I'm gonna add. I'm gonna start adding the colors, the okay? So this one will be red, guys. No, I'm just. But first, I'm gonna add uh, more um, dark colors here. So just use the same color gray guys here, the black and the yellow, with, with blue and some white. So just glazing, guys. So. You can use your fingers to smudge here also. So here I'm gonna this part I'm gonna add more dark color. Okay. And also this guys I'm gonna make it a little uh, smaller because it's very long <laughs> I'm gonna make it a little smaller so I'm gonna use the black with that and uh, with blue and yellow to make it a little smaller
It's okay guys, if you commit mistakes, like me. <laughs> and now, I'm, I'm ready to add the, the colors and the details of the koi faces. Koi faces. So first, I'm gonna add um, orange of this one, color orange. Gonna use the yellow and the red. More yellow guys to make it orange. And I'm gonna start adding here. But only guys you can you can you are free to add your own color of the koi. Yeah, that's it's very easy, simple, right? Oh, no, no, they're here. Yeah, like that. And the last part will be here, this part. Yeah, that's all. And I think I'm gonna make this part darker, guys, using red. Yeah, and also here. Yeah, and also here. Yeah. Yeah, how about that? I think that's a very easy tutorial, guys. And also this one. I'm gonna make it um, orange, black, and white. So. I will be happy guys to add my own details on this color. Okay. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna add more. Okay, I'm going to um, explore guys the colors. Anything that comes to my mind. Okay. Hey, how about that? So there are there are no special technique guys on how to make this. Just add it directly. Okay, just like what I'm doing here. Yeah, that's it. So next, I'm gonna add the black. But first thing, I'm gonna add the highlights on the red. So I'm gonna add white here and yellow.
Yeah, just play it here. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna add now the black. So I just use the black guys, but I'm not using the um, pure black. I'll be using with another color like white and blue. Okay, then you can add water guys to make it a little bluish. I oh, know make it wet. Okay, here. Okay, here so. Okay. And here. Okay. And also on the tail. Okay. Here. I think I'm gonna like this guy. Yeah, what do you think about that, guys? Yeah, it's very nice. Yeah. Okay, now I'm going to add some tail here. <laughs> So I'm gonna use the white again, with, I'm gonna mix it with the existing blue color and yellow. Yeah. And the white guys, add more white. Okay, so yeah, that's it. Yeah, and here we're gonna get some parts here. Yeah, that's it. So about that. I think I'm gonna like the guy. Okay, so and there's again the the add more black on the tail part. Yeah, that's it. And I'm gonna add, I'm gonna retouch guys. And add more um, shadings here. And also here. Yeah, that's it. And you shouldn't forget guys the eyes of the koi. So here guys, I'm gonna add the eye here. So I'm gonna use the black with a little amount of white to make it a little gray, yes. 
here and also here and also the the mouth part here okay and when I use the white guys to make a um, way to protrude here on the eye and also here okay that's it and you need to erase the you need to erase the chalk guys so just wet the cotton then now you can erase it Okay, so I think this is a very easy tutorial, guys. And I know you can do it also. Okay. Yeah, that's very nice. And now, guys, I'm gonna add more um, details on the, the background. I'm gonna add more shadows. So, I'm gonna use again the number 7 flat brush and I'm gonna make um, some bluish shadow guys. So, I'm gonna use the blue, the black, and the white. With a little amount of green. So, here. So you just you can uh, you can smudge guys using your fingers also here okay since this part is very dark also this part so just bluish color guys and also here so just glazing guys and add more cuts and uh, Lotus flower, a lotus uh, leaf. I'm sorry. And also here. Okay, I'm gonna glaze some parts. Okay, that's it. We can clearly see the koi. Okay. And I'm, I think I'm gonna make this one darker. So I'm gonna just glaze the color um, gray, guys. Grayish color. With a little amount of green and black. Okay. So I'll just glaze a little amount of green, green guys. And also here. Yeah. I like it. Uh, 
Um, what else I'm gonna add? Um, yeah, I'm gonna add more a, li a little details, guys, like the like some um, dark colors on the rock. So I'll just use this bluish color, guys, and add here and here. So here. Okay. okay, more bluish color. Yeah, that's it. So I think I am done. Yeah. I think I am done with my simple demonstration on how to paint the koi. So I'm gonna retouch more here with a little amount of white. Yeah, I think I am done guys with my um, painting demonstration. Um, yeah, I, I'm, I'm still thinking what I'm gonna add here. So I'm thinking of uh, adding some shadows here. So again guys, the same color, the gray is. With a little amount of blue and green. And also white. Make it lighter. And here should be lighter yeah I told him I was a green okay. yeah And more white guys here. Yeah. Here also guys. I think I am done guys so thank you very much for watching this video today so all I want to say guys is keep on practicing um, keep on painting guys the more you paint the more you will know how to mix the colors and the more you will know on how to use your brushes so that's a very important guys and that's that's why I am using um, limited colors on my palette because I want you to learn how to mix the colors so the basic colors so these are really the basic colors guys in painting so practice it every day or as long as you can so again guys thank you very much for watching this video please hit like add some comments and subscribe for more videos in the future and if you wanna paint me just follow everything i did in the video and good luck and have fun painting okay so thank you very much guys and have a nice day